What's up everyone? Welcome to the video. Today we're going to take a look at how to get a Chevy Silverado started if the key fob dies. I'm going to be demonstrating on the Silverado in this video, but it will also work on the GMC Sierra as well. And this is only going to apply to the trucks that have a push button start ignition. So I've taken the battery out of this key fob to demonstrate. As you can see, none of the buttons are working. If I try to start the vehicle as I normally would, I'm going to get a message here saying no remote detected. So what we need to do is take our key fob and place it in what your owner's manual refers to as the transmitter pocket. And there's two different options depending on your vehicle's options. Um, this truck here has the bucket seats with the center console. In that case, what we're going to do is place it right here in that little area right between the cup holders. If you have the bench seat where you have a third seat right here and your console flips up, where your transmitter pocket's going to be is in the lower part, in the lower compartment, the part that you would sit on if you were in that middle seat. And I'll put a, uh, an image out of the owner's manual on the screen right here to show where that pocket will be. Do you have the bench seat? But for this one, again, we're looking at the, the vehicle with the bucket seats. So we have our key fob in there like that. And now we should be able to start the vehicle as normal. And then you'll just need to replace the battery in your fob as soon as you can. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you could take a second to like and subscribe, it helps us out, and I'd appreciate it. Thank you.